Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Today I want to show you how we can create a web app, host it in the cloud, and then access it via a website. There's a lot of use cases for this, but in this video we'll look at how we can create a dashboard to produce real-time metrics from a Google Sheet. Let's get started by looking at the finished product first. Here's a sample little web page that has the information that we want in real time. We see that we have a number of A product produced. A here is the name of our product, and we have a number and a loading bar. So we only have one on this page, but you could have plenty more. So let's look at how this is real time. This information is being fed from a Google Sheet. If we were to change one of these A products to two higher, we'll say 22, we'll save this and go back to our dashboard. Now when we refresh this, we should, instead of 146, have 148. When the page loads, we see that we now have 148 instead of 146. So this web page is being fed by real-time information from a Google Sheet. We're doing this using Python, Wayscript, and some HTML code. Let's jump over to the Wayscript platform to see how we can make this. Wayscript is a service that easily allows us to integrate different APIs together. Since we're using Google Sheets, need Python code, and also HTML responses, Wayscript is perfect for this application. Wayscript is still in beta, so typically you have to go and request a key. However, them and I are partnered together, so all my viewers get free access to Wayscript. Just go to the link in the description to get your account. Let's click on this create a new script, and we'll name this one Real Time Dashboard. Click create. Now we want this application to run every time that someone goes to a URL. So let's make our add trigger, and we'll put an HTTP trigger. This will give us the endpoint that we can go to. We'll click on, and now we have a URL located here that when the user goes to this URL, this will run the entire workflow. We can put a name here to go on the end, so we'll say test, and now the URL will be this path slash test. From here, we want this data to come from a Google Sheet. So we'll go down and click add step, and then we'll select the Google Sheet module. We'll find it and add it in. The first time you use the Google Sheet module, you'll have to authorize it, but then we'll go down and click the file. We'll put in shift report is the name of mine, and then we'll use the first shift sheet. We'll click ignore headers, and since we only need the total number of products of the A product, we'll take two of these columns. We'll import the column for product and rename it product. Then we'll do the same thing for the amount. We'll import it and then change the name to amount. And just like that, we've connected our Google Sheet information into our workflow. Now we need to do a calculation using Python. We'll click add step and then we'll add in the Python module. So we'll scroll down to Python and click it. This opens up a place that we can put Python code here on the left, but I'm going to type it in a text editor and then copy it over. So the code that we need, we'll use NumPy as MP, and then we'll import pandas as PD. Now in Wayscript, to use the variables from the previous module, you need to import them into your Python code. We can do that like this. We'll say product is equal to inputs, and then the name of that variable. We called it product amount is equal to inputs, square brackets, amount. And just like that, we've connected the information from our Google Sheet into our Python script. These are read in as default by strings, so let's go ahead and change this one to a float value. We'll do that by using NumPy. So we'll say amount is equal to a NumPy array. We'll pass in this amount, and then we'll set the D type as a NumPy float 32. So that's just converting these values, which would be a string type, into NumPy floats. We'll put this information into a dictionary. So we'll say data, curly brackets. We'll keep the names. So we'll say product. Product is equal to the product variable. And then amount is equal to the amount variable. We'll drop down and make a data frame. So we'll say pd.dataframe. And then we'll pass that data in. So we've created a dictionary. And now we're making a pandas data frame using that dictionary. Now that we have the data frame, we just need to do the calculation of the total number of A products. We'll say A total, and then we'll use a Boolean index to do this. We'll do this by saying DF at the location of DF where the column value of product 
So we'll take this and paste it here is equal to the string A. So we're saying everywhere that this data frame column of product equals A, we want the value of amount and we'll do a summation of those values. Then we'll print A total. And now we need to put a line of code to output this variable to the next module. We'll say outputs of A total as a string is equal to the variable of A total. We'll take all of this, copy it, and move it over and move it over here. Now let's run this code to make sure it works. And we get no errors and we're good to go. So now we're doing a calculation and we see that the total number of A products in that Google Sheet is 148. This is the variable that we need to pass to the next module. Anytime I write code on my videos, I post it in the description. So if you would like this code, just go down there and grab it. The next step is we need to create an HTML page for our website. So we'll go over and pull the HTML module into our workflow. Now I'm not gonna type this HTML code out. I'm just gonna go and copy it and paste it in. But I'll post this in the description as well if you would like to use it. So we'll go ahead and open this up a little. And then take all of this and paste in our new HTML code here. So now let's scroll up to where we have amount of A product produced. This is the super cool part about this whole process. We can actually just take a variable from Wayscript and pull it in to our HTML code. So that's how we create a real time link between our web page and our code. So we're passing the variable in here and then we'll say the value now of our progress bar will be this variable as well. We'll click off of this and the last thing we need is a response to that website. So we'll collapse this back and now we need an HTTP response. We'll add this step here. And this just returns the response of this HTML code to this website. So we'll say the response content that we want is equal to the HTML code that we just wrote. We'll click that and drag it in. Now let's go check out our website. We'll go back up and click on this link. And now we have that dashboard we saw in the beginning. We're using Google Sheet data for this, but you can use many different APIs and Wayscript to pull data from many other sources. I'll have all this code linked below and also on my GitHub pages. Remember that if you want to start using Wayscript, the link for that will be in the description as well. I hope you see how useful this workflow is. We could build dashboards of all sorts of stuff. We could build it with stock market information, more Python calculations, or even social media. If you like this type of content and want to see more of it, please let me know. I'll be sure to make more in the future. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know that as well. I'll see you next time.